So where were we actually? Let's do from the scratch, okay? Mm -hmm. So, all right, the very first thing we're gonna check is actually this time is range. So making sure that my test block is one inch thick. So the range has to be a little bit more than that so I can capture the back wall surface, okay? So my range would be 1.25, is more than one inch. Then I go to my wizard, part and weld. Um, I changed the material, this is aluminum. So I'm gonna scroll all the way to the top and select aluminum, okay? Nothing else, there's no weld. Don't change the thickness for now, finish. Second step is setup. So remember when you uh, start uh, setting up everything, work top down. And on the bottom side, work from left to right. So set up, click start. And go in group mode first. What is this? this is uh, where's the probe? Yeah. Conventional ultrasonic surface ray. What is this? Uh, that's conventional. Conventional. So I'm gonna choose conventional. Application angle beam, TOFD or zero, zero degrees. degrees. Zero degrees. Because we're not using a wedge. I mean, not using a wedge. Okay. Skew. We're not concerned about it. Mode, PC, what is PC? Pitch and catch. Which one is this one? Pulse echo. Pulse echo. Like only using one transducer. Only one transducer and single crystal. Pulse echo. What type of wave is it? Shear wave or longitudinal? Longitudinal. Longitudinal, longitudinal. straight beam. Next. Parameters, frequency. What's the frequency on the probe? 2.25. 2.25. So... I don't know if you can read it. Yeah, two and a quarter megahertz. You go all the way to two and a quarter megahertz. Wedge delay, there's no wedge, so zero. Index offset, don't worry about it right now. Finish. Next step, calibration. Type ultrasound, mode, just use velocity and wedge delay. Even though there's no wedge, just use it. Seems to work better. Next. <clears throat> Echo type. We are doing a thickness inspection, okay? So the echo type on the instrument would be thickness. Okay, this is important. Then you have to choose any two thicknesses of these four. I'll choose one inch and half inch. So I put thickness one as one inch and thickness two as half inch. I'm gonna go next. It's asking me to set my gate A, which is my red gate, on thickness 1. So now it's time to put my probe on thickness 1, which is 1 inch. I see those signals pop up. Now it's, the signal height is too low. So what do we do? You, set up, you put the gain up. Gain up to increase the gain. Turn the gain up so that the signal reaches about 80% screen height. Right there. Once I do that, then I'm going to use start and width to adjust the gate exactly on the on the signal. So I click start, move the gate. Now if the increments are too much, too big, then what do you do? You double tap and then use this negative delta function once. Okay? Now you can fine tune the gate start to start a little bit before the signal. Same thing with width. I'm gonna double tap. Take one delta negative delta. So now the increments are a lot smoother. And stop about right there. Okay. Once that's done, I click get position. Set gate A on thickness two. Thickness two is half inch. Half inch. So I move my probe to half inch. This is my first signal after the initial pulse, right? So that's my half inch signal. Don't confuse with these signals. These are just multiple reflections, okay? This is initial pulse. This is my first signal after initial pulse. So I have to move my gate 
on top of the first signal. So use my start function, move my gate there. The gain looks about fine, it's about 80%. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to change anything else. Get position. Get position. Okay, and now it's calibrated. How do I know this? Up top, the thickness time. reading is half inch. I move my probe on uh, 0.75 just to verify. So I'm gonna place my probe on 0.75. Do we have some more couplet? There was a squirt. Holy shit. There was a squirt or you just had to pop the lid. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Get a nice signal there. I'm gonna move my gate so that oh. so that it cuts the signal. Right? And you see that's about 750s, yeah. mm -hmm. so that's fine. Yeah. So I said. And then can check my one inch as well. Right there. Yeah. One inch. So my calibration is good. I hit accept, and I'm good to go out and start inspecting. Nice. Okay. The only thing is, a screen. you don't want to do the A screen because you're not going to use C scan. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Good.